it in action once more. I'm going to click over here on the drop down, choose a different shipment, and ta da! It all starts with just a normal native visual, which is a line chart. The next thing that we're going to do is from that status table, I would like to have the shipment status on the X axis. And then we can add a new measure. This first measure is going to be a dummy measure, which will create just a horizontal line. And I'm going to call this one dummy equals one. This measure, we can add it to the visual. And you see, we have a straight flat line. All of the other elements I'm going to get rid of. The next thing that I want to have is a little marker there for each one of the four stages. So let's go here to markers, turn them on, and let's make them also a little bit bigger. Now let's just update the color. Let's also make sure that our stages or statuses show in the right order. So let's take the line chart, take that order column and drag it onto tooltips. Because now I can go here to the three dots, sort access. I want to sort it by the sum of order or the order number basically. And I would like to have it in ascending order. All right, so now it's time for step two, which is to fill up that line until that point of where that shipment is in the delivery process. And create a second measure that basically figures out where it is in the delivery process. Okay, there you go. And then over here, instead of zero, I just want to return a blank. And over here, one is fine. However, if you choose a different value for the dummy, and so different than one, then I would just refer you to that, well, dummy measure. And that looks much better. Step three, let's get the check marks in. First of all, I want to have a measure that returns a check mark. All right, so the check mark measure is there. So I'm going to add another measure. This is going to be added now to that main visual. So I'm going to add it also to our visualization over there. I'm going to go here to the line and I'm going to set the stroke width to zero. Then I'm going to go here to markers, select the series again, check mark position. And here we want to markers off. Next thing is to go then to data labels. Now here we want to have no data labels for the dummy. So I'm going to turn that off. And I only want to have labels for the check mark position. I want to have for the values, a custom label. Now that's going to be our check mark measure. So I'm going to go here to my measure table, choose the measure check mark label. And now we have check marks everywhere. The next thing is that we need to push it up. So I'm going to go here to the Y axis and put the minimum on auto and the maximum. Let's play around with it. Let's put it at three. Looks quite okay. Then we probably also want these check marks to be in white. Choose a different shipment and ta-da, beautiful. 